The work I create is a response to what I experience. So, by way of background, I have young onset Parkinson's and I've had it for 15 years. Um, I've got eight benign meningioma, which are brain tumours. And I've got hydrocephalus, which means I've got a shunt, which was put into my head um, in March 2022, so just over a year ago. Now, that obviously colours your life experience. Um, and what I've found is the more things that happen to me, um, the less I seem to have an identity in society. When you are classified as disabled and when you are tired um, and you know you can't join in with everybody in the same way, you get written off almost, you get ignored, you sort of suddenly become invisible. And so what a lot of my work around now is around about things that are hidden in plain view, because I sometimes and quite often actually feel that I am hidden in plain view. So I like to look at things um, from a social perspective, social history perspective as well, um, mainly because women and their role in domestic uh, matters were, again, hidden in plain view. Uh, and then from a personal point of view, I've, be, I've received a lot of help from Gloucester-based organisations to help with the ramifications of that treatment. In, in my case, the two big Gloucester people that I've worked with are Artshape, who are marvellous, and GDAS. And you ask later on um, how, you would how I would envisage working with you guys. Well... I've got GDAS and um, Artshape in my sights already to collaborate with. Um, GDAS don't know that yet, but I do. Um, what I would love to be able to do, and the way I think I would run this and work this, is to start quite small, but start to listen and to get to know the various different groups in Gloucester who I feel I would chime with. Um, I, I know that you guys have got your existing projects and I'd be fascinated to know about more about those. And I'm I'm not saying I would I would act totally independently because that's just not not, not me. But what I what I am saying is that if I came on on board, you wouldn't be starting with somebody who didn't know anything about the area. You'd be starting with somebody who was already in there, already working in the Gloucestershire area. I've shown in uh, Gloucester Cathedral and I've shown in St Nick's and I've done work around um, doing uh, maps for the carnival, uh, all sorts of things. Happy to chat through those if you if and when you pick me, please, please pick me. Um, yeah, so you've got somebody I'd hit the ground running. OK, I've got Parkinson's. I ain't going to be running very fast, but I'll be running. So pick up the pace. Uh, question two, what's my values, what's important to me? Um, honesty, integrity is really obviously key. Um, do something more than nothing. That's important. It's the, the idea of just like little incremental changes can make a big change in the end. I've got Parkinson's. I can't, I can't do big changes all in one go, but little, lots of little ones I can do. And that's the way I like to work these days, you know, inch, inch your way through the uh, the project and you get to the end and you get a really good um, load of people coming with you as well, which is what I'm after. What would make you think, what would make you believe that I'm the best fit for you? What I liked about your videos was that you knew what you were asking for. You were very definite and you knew what you weren't asking for as well. So let me be as direct. If you're looking for somebody who will work 24-7 for you and be utterly committed and work on projects up until the, the wee small hours, then I can't be that person. And the reason I can't be that person is I have to manage my energy. However, if you want somebody who would like the stability and need the stability of employment and who could be relied on 
and who knows the local marketplace, knows a lot of local arts organisations already, has worked with them, people like Stroud Valley Arts, Art Shape, um, Cheltenham Open Studios, you know, I'm, I'm there, I'm your woman. I've shown and worked in Gloucester Cathedral, um, and it wasn't just like 2D pretty pictures. What I did was I took the cloisters and I wrote a poem about anger management and um, how how important it was to uh, be aware of your emotions. And that's come out of like personal experience with respect to like emotional abuse and things like that. Um, and then I turned that into a meditative walk. So I don't do pretty pictures. You'll be glad to hear. What I do is I try and take a place or an issue involve the audience, make them think, challenge them sometimes, but show them a different way of approaching a problem or show them a different way of thinking, because that's what I'm all about. It's all like sideways looking at things for me. I don't look at things the same way as other people do. And I think you'll find that with this uh, application. If you work with me, you will get Issues that are relevant, dealt with in a way that is imaginative, collaborative, friendly, but committed. This has mean a lot to me, this job. When I lost my job because of being diagnosed with Parkinson's, and I, was, I lost that job in 2012, I had worked for that company for 16 years and they just erased me because I was suddenly classified as disabled that invisibility that loss of voice that stayed with me and i'm all about trying to make people see the other side make that connection and then we can work together to make it a better place if that sounds schmaltzy i'm sorry but that's what i really believe in and i think i am perfectly placed to work with you moving well into performance and I'm trying new things to work out what works best and I want to do that with you I think we could do something really cool right how would I approach this role I think I've, I've made it a bit clear I mean I'm, I, I work independently at the moment but most of my projects are collaborative with me running those projects I would continue to do that. However, my network, which is pretty good already, if you have a look on LinkedIn, you can see um, my network would expand and I would take that on gladly. And I would love that. One of the one of life's great pleasures is finding two people who don't know each other and putting them together and seeing them get on so well and create either a new business opportunity or a new art um, installation is fabulous. I love doing that and I will continue to do that if I work for you guys. Um, I would be looking for some support from you guys, but I am actually quite an independent person who knows this marketplace. So I think it could be like mutual support. I think that would be nice. I don't want to be a drain on your resources. I want to be useful. Um, I'm based in Cheltenham at the moment. I set up Now Arts, which was um, a studio complex um, in an industrial unit in Leckhampton in Cheltenham that has now just been turned into a pottery collective um, because I wanted to move into, into being more artistic and more creative myself personally perfect time for me to come and work with you guys now but um, yeah so based in Cheltenham I would actually consider myself to do a commute a couple of times a week probably into Gloucester um, probably catch the bus in Number 10, very good bus, use it very often. Um, and also, you know I like bus stations. Um, I've got an idea about doing something about the border between Cheltenham and Gloucester and talking to people on the buses, um, but that's just like in the ether at the moment. Um, current work, well, the big thing I'm doing at the moment is I have got a show in Cheltenham, um, in Montpellier at 16 Gallery in November. It's called uh, Simple Pleasures, and what it is, is it's sort of like a positive look at how you can look after yourself if you have a chronic disease. Because otherwise it's a bit of a downer, just before Christmas, getting a bit depressed about being ill. So what I thought was, think about things that make me happy, that soothe, 
And so, again, I said before, sideways look at the issues involved in having a chronic illness, but on the face of it, also a nice, a good sort of feel-good exhibition just before Christmas. That is finished uh, the last week in November. I am completely clear after that, on purpose, because I want this opportunity and I want to work with you guys. Uh, Part-time, please, for the role, because um, energy conservation, etc., etc., I think it's sensible. I like doing things part time. Give me more time to think about it. Um, and how would it make a step change for me? This is a biggie. I hope. I think I've kind of, I've, I've sort of given you some idea. But to avoid any um, what's the word misconception. At the moment, I work relatively independently. I have a good network, um, but I do not have certainty. I do not have um, something I can rely on with respect to, for example, funds. Um, I loved being employed. I'm not one of life's great entrepreneurs. I've got loads of really good ideas, but I want to do the creative stuff, not the business stuff. So to be employed would just be fantastic. And I reckon with you guys, I'd have more clout, so I'd be able to get into some more interesting uh, conversations. And I would love the ability to expand my performance range because at the moment I do performance, I do poetry, I write a lot of poetry. I'll give you some examples. Um, I've branched out into like more, uh, what's the word, innovative and um, off the cuff work as well. Um, I did some stuff at uh, Witchwood informally, uh, but with the poetry guys at Witchwood, you know, Anna Saunders. Um, they were doing a, a workshop around rap. All these kids and me, the 50-year-old, it was brilliant. Um, so I've done that. I, poetry Slam is coming up this year, hopefully. Um, and I'm looking at stand-up as well. But again, performance. I'm also thinking about doing something with the Wilson. Um, they, they've got these artist nights coming up. And I've just agreed with Oliver Tippett that um, I'm going to go and try and do a like a poem with the audience doing participant like drawing and trying to capture what I'm saying in the poem it should be quite good fun um but do you see what I mean it's like I've got the ideas I'm doing them but with you guys we get onto another level It'd be fantastic um the difference it will make to me I am hidden in plain view at the moment I don't want to be hidden anymore and I think that is the difference. That is what I can get and what I can work with from this opportunity. So, cards on the table might not be the obvious choice, but I think I should be. And I would love to hear from you. And if I don't make the final eight, so be it. But I would still like to be able to work with you guys in some way. I really look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.